Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be preparing some Easter Bunny cupcakes. Since it's almost Easter time, these cupcakes are very simple and easy to make. They're lemon cupcakes with little bunny ears on top, so they're perfect for the season. So if you'd like to see how I make these Easter Bunny easy cupcakes, let's get started. To begin, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. This recipe makes 24 cupcakes. So go ahead and put cupcake liners in your cupcake pans. And what we're gonna do is take our white cake mix and we're going to sift it into our stand mixer bowl. Just pour all that in there. And then we're just gonna sift it to get out any lumps. And then we're left with these few little lumps at the bottom and we can press those out. Okay, and next to this, we're going to stir in the rest of our ingredients. We have three eggs here that I'm going to add to the mixture. We have the zest of three lemons. One quarter cup of fresh lemon juice, two thirds cup of milk. And we have one half, whoa, one half cup of sour cream, your one third cup of oil. And I'm just using vegetable oil today in this recipe. And now I'm going to mix it. I'm gonna tilt this down and lock it into place. And then I'm going to mix it. I'm gonna start with a slow stir. And then we'll pick it up a little bit until all of the ingredients are incorporated well. Okay, got a good mix going on here. I'm going to stop it and just kind of just scrape down my bowl just a little bit, just to make sure everything is well incorporated and there's nothing on the sides. So I'm just going to take my spatula and then just scrape down, scrape down my sides here of the bowl. Yeah, we got some flour hanging out over here. I'm just gonna scrape this off onto my beater. Okay, then I'm gonna drop this back down and get this started back up again. Okay, all right, I'm gonna tilt this back up again. And let me just be sure, give this one more stir and make sure that everything is incorporated nicely. Now we've already prepared our cupcake pans and we, our oven is already preheated to 350. We're gonna place this into our cupcake pan and I'll show you how I do that next. Okay, and here we are. We have our bowl here with our batter. And I found the easiest way to fill up your cupcake liners is to use an ice cream scooper, one that has the lever on it. And this has always, I found the best way to fill up my cupcake tins. And I dump that in there, releasing it. And I found it's less messy this way. You have less spillage when you fill it this way. And watch me spill something as I'm talking. Okay, and now your cupcakes are ready to go into the oven. It makes 18 cupcakes, filling them three quarters of the way full using the ice cream scooper. I'm gonna drop these into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. And then when a toothpick is inserted in the middle and it comes out clean, I know that they are done. Okay, now we're back. We've got the cupcakes right over there, cooling down a little bit. And so now we're gonna get started on our cream cheese frosting. In our stand mixer, we're going to beat our cream cheese and our butter until it's smooth. And 
and both the cream cheese and the butter have been sitting out so they're both soft and at room temperature. Now that's pretty smooth. And now we're going to add in our powdered sugar. And I have four cups of it. So we're gonna add between three and four cups just depending on how thick it is. When it gets to the right consistency, then I won't add any more powdered sugar. And now I'm going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. This has been mixing for a couple of minutes now and it's just about ready. It looks perfect, it tastes perfect. So we're going to go ahead and shut this off. And what I do is I take my piping bag and then I'll put it in a glass, put it over a glass. That kind of helps it, makes it a little easier to fill it with the buttercream. And here we are with our buttercream. I'm going to fill up our piping bag. And then we're gonna flip it back over. We want to shake this buttercream down all the way to the end. We're going to twist this bottom and then kind of wrap it around our finger to kind of have a little bit of control with it. The final thing that you need for this recipe are your marshmallows and also your pink decorative sugar that you're gonna to use to make the ears and some kitchen shears that I've uh, cleaned up really good to be sure that they don't have anything additional on them. And then I have a little bowl to pour my pink sugar into. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this out. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is take a marshmallow. I have 18 of them out here because I have 18 cupcakes and I need two, uh, two ears per cupcake. So I'm gonna take my marshmallows and then I'm gonna cut them diagonally in half. Like so. And then I'm gonna dip this sticky part, this middle part here, the sticky part, I'm going to dip them into the pink sugar and then I'm going to just set it to the side and then do the same thing with the next one. Just dip, dip into the pink sugar, then cut the next one. You can cut all of yours from the beginning or you can cut them one at a time, just kind of however you want to do it. And here we go with our cupcakes and our bunny ears. And what we're going to do is take a, take a pair of bunny ears and place them on the cupcake. second little cupcake with bunny ears and I'm just going to go through and do them all until we're all done. 
Okay, here we go. We have our bunny ear cupcakes. They are lemon cupcakes with a cream cheese frosting with marshmallow bunny ears on the top. So now let's taste test these, see how they turned out. All right, here is our cupcake. Isn't that super cute? With the little bunny ears on top and the little pink sprinkles of sugar. So let's try this out and see how this tastes. Oh wow, really good, really good flavor with the lemon, I can taste that lemon zest, and then the cream cheese frosting is delicious, that's really good, not too much, a good amount of sweetness coming from the cream cheese icing. And the little bunny ears, the little marshmallow bunny ears with the pink sugar crystals. Nice little flavor addition to the cupcake. So, so overall, very tasty cupcake. I, I really do like, even though we use like a white cake mix, a box cake, I think we added enough additional ingredients to it to make it taste a bit more homemade. And I do like that. I do like that we added the lemon zest in there along with the lemon juice. And that was also a great addition. It's very flaky and moist. Nice consistency with the cupcake. I like to see this, I like to do this as like a layer cake. I think that would be awesome as well. So, okay, so if you like this video, just please give it a thumbs up. And also while you're here, hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to be notified every time I upload content and I upload something new every week, so don't miss it. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.